Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5 with me, Joe. And welcome back to my Benefactor customization series. We're getting really close to finishing off this garage now. Um, over these last few weeks, I've been customising all of these different Benefactor cars. Um, we've done every single car by Benefactor in the whole game that I could get my hands on. Now, some of them were difficult to get my hands on. I can't get my hands on some of them because it's impossible to. In the last episode, we customised this uh, Benefactor. No, we didn't. Did we do the Krieger or the Straighter? I can't remember. Um, but anyway... The straighter is missing at the moment because I think I put it in another garage by accident. But anyway, we've only got a few of these left to do before this garage is completed. And that's kind of a big thing. Um, I've managed to collect every single Benefactor car that is currently available to get in the game. Some of them you can't even get, um, I believe. But we've got these three left and we've got the that weird B-class looking one. So in this video, we're going to be customising the Schwarzer, which is a C-Class Coupe, I believe, or maybe it's an E-Class Coupe, because it is the three-door one. Now, this is an OG car, and I'm still going to put in the title that it's an OG car. Let's have a listen. Oh, very nice, very nice. It's got that raspy benefactor sound. Oh, it sounds so nice. But um, this car has updated customization. So not too long ago, Rockstar did a one-off thing where they added some new customization for old cars. And I really wish they'd do it again because I thought it was really cool for Rockstar to update some of the customization options on some of these really old vehicles. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this to the auto shop and we're going to get this customized as usual. I have moved my auto shop's location for reasons that I will not be stating as of yet. Um, I have plans for what I'm going to be doing after we've finished customising this Benefactor garage. And there's a reason I've moved my auto shop back up to Vinewood. You guys will find that out very soon. But uh, for now, you guys are going to have to wait until I get to the auto shop. And we'll jump right in and customise this Benefactor Schwarzer. So I'll be right back with you guys in just a moment. So welcome back you guys to my auto shop. We're going to dive right in to the customisation right now. So, armor 100%, brakes 100%, bumpers. We got the Euro bumper. So as you can see, there's tons more customization for this now. You guys have to keep in mind and bear in mind that back in the OG days of Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, this Benefactor Schwarzer did not have this uh, level of customization. This is updated customization for an OG car. Um, and this does have the V12 Turbo as well. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, we got the Euro. And I'm pretty sure the only ones that were on the car from OG is these top three. The Euro bumper, exposed intercooler and custom splitter. But now we got even more of this stuff, which is really, really nice. Uh, a really nice touch. And I'm, I'm quite happy about it. So I think we are going to be sticking with the custom splitter and intercooler though for me. And I will be probably putting on the primary rear diffuser because I think that looks really nice actually. Although maybe... You know what? No, I, I actually don't like that. We're not going to be putting that on. Um, I'm going to go for a carbon splitter instead. We'll go more tasteful. We'll go with engine upgrade level 4. And now we have tons of exhausts to pick from. So let's have a look. I've always really liked, personally, on these shafters. I really like the dual titanium exit exhausts. But I did do that on my normal shafter, which I probably... Should have saved for one of these ones. So you know what? On this one, we're actually going to go with the... Let's go with the dual exit exhaust. Why not? We'll keep this one a bit more classy. And I can get the big badge grill on this as well. Because the stock one of this doesn't actually come with a badge. Which I find a little bit weird. But I can get the uh, primary big badge grill. That would probably look quite nice. We're going to go with that. Hood. Carbon hood. That looks cool. We can get the carbon smooth hood. Ridge line hood carbon performance hood maybe we'll go with carbon on this i'll make my mind up on that after i've put the livery and the paint on it i think uh, i need to get coverage on this because i stole it off the street we'll put the yellow and black on and i think we're just gonna keep this white i think it actually looks very nice white so let's have a look at the liveries i can get the black stripes with schwarzer down the side very clean get the red stripes very clean orange stripes your Garishima Racing. So all of these other ones are just race liveries, which is a little bit disappointing. Although that does look very cool. 
I can't even lie, that looks cool. I just usually don't like to go for race liveries. Although that is that is actually really cool. That's kind of speaking to me. Hmm. You know what? Why not? I never go for liveries like this, so I think, why not? And that would actually kind of match the carbon hood. So you know what? We're going to do that. We're going with a black and white theme on this. Oh, you can get bolted arches and stuff as well. You know what? Maybe we go full on street with this. Yeah, let's do it. I never, I very rarely do this kind of level of, um, you know, customization. So we're going to do it. And I can get a carbon roof as well. Carbon inset. Carbon ridgeline. We're going to get the carbon ridgeline, I think. Um, yeah, I like that. Skirts. Holy shoot. Yep. There's a lot of cool skirts here. I actually really like just this one. This, um... The custom skirts one. Spoiler. I'm actually going to go with a little bit more of a shouty spoiler than I usually go with, I think, for this one. Because I have gone quite race with this one so far. Which, again, I don't usually do. So... I think it's, you know, it's a little bit different to what I usually do. Although, then again, I do like that ducktail a lot. I do like that a lot. Um, hmm. That is really nice, actually, that ducktail. I just don't think, I don't know, I don't think Mercedes suits spoilers unless it's, um, I mean, benefactors, sorry. Unless it's the uh, the AMG GT. I think they suit the ducktail spoilers a little bit more. But at the same time, I want to do something different, so... You know what? I'm not sure about that, but we'll go with a carbon GT spoiler. Slam it down. Race transmission. Turbo tuning. Wheels. We'll go for street. We're going to go for the cup champion. In black, I actually kind of knew what I wanted to go for for this. Um, we'll go with the Fukuru red. Screw it, we'll go all out. And I will just put a light smoke on these windows. And that is pretty much my Benefactor Schwarzer done. And I just realised I didn't take a screenshot. Alright, I forgot to take a screenshot, but we're all good. So here we have my Benefactor Schwarzer Coupe, three-door coupe. So I've gone for a very, very loud style build on this. Something that I usually wouldn't go for, especially for this style of car. But I actually think it really works. I think this could definitely be a car that you would see a need for speed rival driver driving. It sounds amazing, of course. That turbo is, oh, for goodness sake, already, really. That, that turbo is really loud with the blow-off noise, which I love. Okay, I'm just crashing all over the gaff. Um, we're going to see what this thing can do top speed wise. Hey, there's two of the same cars there. That's kind of funny. So it sounds amazing. This is one of the nicest sounding kind of engine sounds in GTA, I think. I love the uh, the raspiness of this. This is similar to the, to the V12 shafter. Um, I mean, apparently this is a V12. But I don't think this sounds the same as the shaft of V12. I'm pretty sure that's even more raspy than this. But we're going to be doing that in the next customization. So if you guys want to stick around, we'll be seeing that. But straight off the bat, this car is quite quick. It looks much nicer with this updated customization options that Rockstar added. Which I think is a really nice touch. And uh, all in all, it's a really nice kind of tuner car if you want to. You can make this kind of like a sleeper if you want. Again, this is the three-door coupe version. It will slide if you want it to. Oh yeah, she will. And she, she double clutches really nice as well. As you can see, just uh, mid-driving or double clutching out of a corner. So like you brake going into the corner, let off. And then you can double clutch out of it. And again. Which is really nice. But all in all, a really nice car. I would highly recommend it. Let me know if you guys have any other vehicles you would like me to customise. And I will see you all in the next customisation video. We've only got a very a few left on this Benefactor garage now before I fully customised um, them all. So, yeah, there you have it. But thank you all for watching. I don't think I'm going to customise the uh, Shafter V12 armoured and unarmoured in separate videos. Because I don't really think there's any point. I'm pretty sure they have the exact same customisation options. 
as is. So I think um, we'll probably do like the uh, we'll probably do the normal one, and I'll just customize the armored one off camera. But uh, for now, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please do leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. We've only got two left, technically three, but again, as I've just said, I'm not going to do both of these. Although maybe I can do both in one video. But um, yeah, we've got this left and the B class, which is on the second floor. But uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one for now, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.